So it's possible to use Excel to draw a vertical alignment. And in this example, we're going to draw this alignment. So it has a crest curve followed by a sag curve. So it goes from station zero on the left and it has an elevation of 945 feet. And we're gonna end at station 100. We're gonna start with a an entrance grade, an initial grade of 1.6%. And then we have a PVC at station 48. And this curve is defined by this parabolic equation. That curve ends at the uh, with a PVT of 58 and transitions into that exit grade of negative 1.9%, followed by the sag curve at the PVC of 78 plus 50, defined by the given parabolic equation, which ends at a PVT of station 86 plus 50 with an exit grade of 2.1% that takes us to the end of the alignment at station 100. So we're gonna set this up in Excel and see how we can graph this. Of course, there's many ways that this can be done. I'm gonna set this up where we start with stations. For curves, we're gonna to need to know the X value and then we will calculate the elevation at each of those points. So for the graphing, what we will end up with is trying to graph the station and the elevation. So those are, are gonna be our key points there, but we won't need to do as much work with our tangent. So we're starting at station zero uh, because we're starting out initially at this, uh, on a tangent, we don't need to worry about the X value. That's only gonna be an intermediate calculation to determine the elevation. And at station zero, we have an elevation of 945. And that takes us to station 48. And we're gonna to need to calculate the elevation for this. We're, we know that we started at station zero, the elevation of 945, and we have a grade of 1.6%. So we can come up with an equation for this. It's the, our starting elevation, 945, plus 1.6, times 48 stations, that's how far we go. And that's gonna take us to an elevation of 1,021.8. That's at the PVC. And the way I'm gonna set this up, you could do it multiple ways. I'm gonna do a station, I'm gonna station this for every foot. So our next station is gonna be 48.01. And now we're gonna to need to start with our X. So our PVC is station 48. The X is the distance in stations from the PVC. So the X at this first point, I'm gonna use this as an equation so that I can drag this down. It's gonna simplify the process. So it's our, our given station minus the PVC station of 48. So the X is 0 0.01. That means it's a distance of one foot from the PVC. And now we need to input our parabolic equation. And so our A is negative 0.175. And what I'll usually do with these is put these in each term in parentheses just to make sure I, I get the order of operations correct. So negative 0.175 times X squared. I'll put this also in parentheses. So our X raised to the power of two. So that's our first term, and then we're going to add 1.6 times x, so I'm choosing that point again, plus our PVC elevation, 121.8, and that's our equation, and now we can drag this down until we get to our PVT station of 58. So I'm gonna start with just doing this with the station. So I'm gonna drag this down until we get to station 58. And doing this for every foot, obviously it, uh, there's a lot of points here, so it's gonna be a long Excel file. So it takes it all the way down to station 58. And then now when I come back up, I can double click this square and it should take it all the way to that last point. So every foot we're calculating the elevation, that's gonna help us create a smooth graph when we're, when we're done with this. So we can go down to the bottom now 
So we're at station 58. Now we have another tangent. So we're going from station 58 to 78 plus 50, so 78.5. Uh, Excel is trying to think for us, so I'm going to delete out what, what it was expecting us to put. We don't have an X value here because we're just moving along the tangent. And to find the elevation, we're just going down a downgrade of negative 1.9% for that full distance. So this is, we're going to start with our PVT elevation, and then we're going to subtract off 1.9 times the distance. I'm going to put all this in parentheses again just to make sure we get the order of operations here. So 1.9 times 78.5 minus 58, so that's a distance of 20.5 stations. And so our PVC elevation, we can actually could have looked at this in our parabolic equation is 981.35. And again, it's a tangent, so we don't need to have any intermediate points between station 58 and 78.5. Now we can do the same thing we did previously. We're going to look for every foot. So 78.51, our x distance is the point of interest minus our PVC station. So that should be 0 0.01. Again, we're going to drag that down. And we can put in our parabolic equation now. So this is equal to 0.25 times our x squared minus 1.9 times x plus 981.35. And we need to drag this down. Our, our last, our PVT is 86 plus 50. So we're looking for 86.5 for our final station for this curve. And again, the parabola and the parabolic equation only applies to points on the curve. So we can only use this for those points on the curve. And now we can select these two values here, drag it double click to take it to the bottom. And so for our last value here, our station is 86.5. That's the PVT for that sag curve. It's a length or the X value of eight stations. And it gives us the elevation of the PVT of 982.15 feet. Now we need to take that final step to take us all the way to station 100. We need no X value there. We need to calculate this. We're going to go 13 and a half stations at 2.1% from that PVT elevation. So 13.5 stations, 2.1%. And that's going to give us a final elevation of 1,010.5 feet. Now I'm just going to go back up to the top, and we're going to insert a graph. You could do several different types. I'm just going to do a scatter plot that's using lines. We're going to input our data here. Uh, we can call it vertical alignment if we want to give the series a name. It's not necessary to do that. Uh, for our x values, we want to use the stationing. And for our Y values, we're going to use the elevations. And this is roughly what we saw with our not-to-scale drawing. I'm going to spread this out a little bit. We don't really need the label up there. I'm going to remove the markers. It's not necessary to to have those, that way we can have it look a little more smooth. If we wanted to add an axis title here, this is our distance in stations. It's always nice to have labels there. We only go from station zero to 100, so we can change that maximum to 100. And I would also add a y axis title as well 
and this is elevation in feet. And here's our graph of our vertical alignment. Again, we had two tangents. Here's the first one from station zero to station 48. So it goes from the beginning to about here. Then we had a parabolic curve defined by the parabola of y equals negative 0.1758x squared plus 1.6 times x plus 1021.8, followed by a tangent with a grade of negative 1.9% then a sag vertical curve that has is defined by the parabola y equals 0.25 x squared minus 1.9 x plus 981.35, followed by a tangent from station 86 plus 50 to station 100. So this is our vertical alignment. We're looking from a profile view to see those changes in elevation. Again, using Excel, the tangents are fairly simple, and the parabola, you can do it at different intervals, but I think using an interval of every foot is going to give you a pretty smooth parabola to define that vertical curve.